curse was the key to finding the young woman. Geralt needed to lift the curse. So he took Uma to the home of the world's greatest specialist on dark spells. To the Witcher's Fortress of Kaer Morin.
Sun.
It sure wasn't human. Another drowner, even more mangled. Hmm. Might want to look around some. Drowner, even more mangled. seen one this big in a while. Gotta be ancient. Something tells me it got a little angry. He could write. I guess I remember. Troll detests drowners. Snap the end of these before he could reach the fortress.
impressive specimen. Hmm. A month of tracking. Congratulations. Can't help wondering, though. Why'd you keep the corpse? Aim to stuff it, hang it above the mantle? Hmm. Not a bad idea. This one was quicker than most. Might have... Want to do the honor? No, thanks. You cut. I'll grab a... Let's examine its head. Long whiskers. Protruding frontal lobe, but that's normal. Mm-hmm. Seen that before. Some of them like... And in the maw, yellow dull teeth. Clearly not a flosser. Open its gut. So, anything interesting? Uh... Bits of undigested food. A few decades worth, looks like. Wanna give it to Yennefer? <laughs> no thanks. She only wears silver. That's her loss. Rest is perfectly normal. Except for its gnarled liver. Seems like I had a pension for the blood of drunkards. Nice claws. Fifteen inches, I'd say. They grow its whole life. This one was about a hundred. 110 years old. Pretty muscular legs. Calves and feet especially. Let me tell you, the sucker was fast. One second here, there the next. Always in the shadows. Could barely see it. So how'd you take it down? <laughs> Long story. Tell you another time. Think I've... Mm. It would, I agree. See Eskel. What's this? Brewing? No. Boo. Hmm. Actually, more like my. Haven't heard? Madame Sorceress has requested I fortify the. Don't sound too thrilled about all this. I'm not. You know the trek to the circle's no walk in the park. In more ways than one. Let me go with you. Well, might have more spring in my step with the famous white wolf at my side. So, you ready? No reason to wait. Let's go. Oh, meant to tell you. Can't get to the circle through the mountains. Rockslide blocked the pass last spring. So we approach from the pond side, like when we did the trial of the medallion? Exactly. Remember the way? Not easily forgotten that. He who returns with his medallion will prove himself worthy and may set off on the path. Vesemir ever hear you impersonate him? Savola's Breach. Still haven't patched it up? Vesemir'd like to. Doesn't bother me, though. Not expecting anyone to lay siege, and... This way I got a shortcut to the pond. Shame those Salamandra assassins didn't punch a few more holes in our walls. Or finish the job and reduce these ruins to rubble. Been thinking. We gonna swim across the pond? No, I got a boat moored there. You know, for fishing. Wow. Never took you for the fishing type. I use bombs. I drop them in and scoop up whatever floats to the surface. <laughs> that makes sense.
impressed. Where'd you learn them tricks? It's an art. Learned it from this old master down in Zarakania. Yeah. Save that tale for your next sorceress. Tell me about Vesemir. Things any better between you? It seems so. Old man's dropped the moralizing, and I try not to piss him off too often. Mm -hmm. Working out well? Moderately. Castle's pretty big. Easy to stay out of each other's way. Damn it. I moored it right here, I swear. Line must have come loose. Really? Here I thought the boat untied itself to go for a jaunt on its own. Damn it. In this fog, we'll never... There a storm before I arrived? Let me think. Yeah, five days passed. Hmm. Wind must have grabbed the sail, tugged the boat off its mooring. Boat drifted into the bushes. Water hag. Great. The last thing we need. All right. Cave entrance is just opposite. See it? Gotta sail across the pond, go through the cave, climb Troll's head, and we're there. Doesn't seem like such an ordeal now, does it? No. Still gives me the shivers, though. You know only two boys returned from my group? You were the ones who ran into old Spear Tip in the caverns, right? Mm-hmm. That's still gnawing at you? Gnawing? No. Straight old pisses me off. What the fuck was that trial for? Most who returned from the Circle of Elements died within a year in some swamp, hunting drowners for a crown 30 ahead. So exactly, what was the point? Ought to ask Vesemir. Oh, I have. Many times. Believe you me. Let's go. Jump in the boat. All right. I'm taking the tiller, though. Because? Because it's my boat, not a... Make this boat yourself? Yeah. Something you don't like about it? Besides the water up to our ankles? Nothing. Quit whining. It'll make it across the lake. Provided we don't smash into something first. Barely see the tip of my nose. Fog's thick as curdled milk. Never took you for a poet. Oh, but I am one. Wanna hear a limerick? Sure. Lambert, Lambert, what a prick. Not bad. Fall off a bit. Sails fluttering. Don't teach your grandma to suck eggs. Right, almost there.
Ready for the caverns? Almost. Before we go inside. Ugh, drink a dose of cat, I know. Any more words of wisdom? Like, step softly or you'll wake old spear tip? Old spear tip still down there? Yeah, he is. Unless he's done us a favor and killed over on his own. Could come at us at any moment. How'd the rhyme go? Old spear tip's a deep sleeper. Wake him up and you'll sleep deeper. Come on. Hear that? Sounds like a kid. You know this valley's uninhabited except for us. It's gotta be an illusion. What if it's not? <laughs> Whatever you want to do. We'll investigate, just in case. You know, Vesemir's right. You do poke the damn hive, almost always. Fine, let's go. You're safe now. No! No! How? Fine. Consider yourself vindicated. You were right. Well, well, what do you know? We can talk about that later. Got the foglets to take care of now. You're not gonna let this drop anytime soon, are you? No, I will not. In fact, whole world should hear about the time the famed Geralt of Rivia was duped like a child. <coughs> Think we ought to get Dandelion to write a battle about it. How's that sound? When someone's life might be threatened, I'd rather be safe than... Of course, the noble white wolf. Changing subjects. Did I see... Yeah, one of ours. Must have drowned during his trial. Foglets remembered his voice and appearance. Charming. Let's get out of here. Needn't ask me twice. In fact, I did- Lambert, enough. Spear tip's never been kind to guests. Shit, too damn high. Not if I give you a boost. Remember? Part of the trials. A witcher is a lone hunter. But even a lone hunter can use a helping hand sometimes. Vesemir. Ready? Oh! You fat fuck! One, two, three! You're no feather either. Come on, let's go. Wall looks a little shaky. Ard, maybe? Mm -hmm. And wake old spear tip? What? 
You were for Mind not stomping like that. Relax. I slipped. Something fell in my eye. Splinter, I think. Hope it wasn't from a broken mirror. That'd make you even nastier. Ha ha. reeks of mold. What did you expect? Scent of violets? Would have been nice. Ah, so soft and sweet to sleep in there. Makes you want to make this moment last forever. Oh, good to be back above ground. Mm-hmm. Still trouble ahead. You mean the trolls? They're in for trouble, not us. Don't know who you're trying to impress. Tough guy stuff's just not working on me. <laughs> Look who's talking. Vesemir told me about that job you did for those Nilf guardians in Velen. What? What are you doing? Killing. Monsters. <laughs> Good one. Just came out that way. Come on. See him shit and run soon as he saw us? Mm hmm. Never known a troll to do that. Sorry, sorry. This is busy. Wait. 
chassis too. Hey, hey, what's up? Walk no more. It stops. Yeah. East Mountain. Troll Mountain. Huh? Troll. Uh, hi! This Troll Mountain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, sure. You talk to these idiots. Stay calm. We just want to get to the circle. Which is this thing one say, thing two do, thing three do, sometime. Ah, uh, enough! Adam? Oh, wow. <laughs> mm -hmm. They understood all right. Congrats. Run for the cave, before they stone us to death. Far more. Which is this? Understand it? We understand it, but we still gotta get to the circle of elements. Listen, but we. Trolls come know to Witchesy Castle. Locks not there. Let him rock. Enjoying this little chat? Cause uh, it's not getting us anywhere. I'm talking. Fact is, you know as much about negotiating as they do about grammar. We're not here to hurt you. We don't want to touch your rocks. Just let us pass. Would you say hurt no? But before I draw it, so it hurt me out, spot. Before throws two throws. Throw throw first. Which is it hit them? Witches throws on trolls out. Trolls on witches throws out. Out here, out there. Mm. Um. We do go this. You shall back up, leave here. You pass. No greens. We smash. All right, we'll leave our swords here. Pick them up on the way back. We want to know. Big metal mouth thing. You nuts? Shut up and follow my lead. I think you might have missed your calling. If I remember Pappy Vesemir's lessons correctly, witchers kill monsters. Well, we made it. No denying that. Damn. Beautiful view. Must be if you noticed it. Geralt, who do you take me for? Let me think. A sourpuss? Ha! <laughs> Fair enough. But save the rest of your compliments for later. Let's get to work. Remember how this circle works? Been a while since I activated my medallion here. It's fine, old man. No need to make excuses. Light the torches and place the phylactery on the altar. I'll handle the rest. How'd it go? Water, then earth, then air? All right, phylactery's in place. Then all we gotta do is wait. The container will absorb the power of the elements while we catch a breather.
So, how'd you deal with the trolls when you passed the trial of the medallion? Let me think. Oh, yeah. Used Axie. But I only had to get past one troll. The other two were busy. Yeah, useful sign, Axie. Saved my life a short while ago. Sense a good story coming. One of the best. A couple of road robbers stopped me. One pointed a crossbow at me, and the other started rummaging through my satchel. I made the man with the crossbow shoot his friend, and then hang himself. Wow. Truly great story. Isn't it? Real side-splitter, I think. Tell me, you always been such a cynical bastard? No. I was adorable before Vesemir brought me to care more him. <laughs> We all went through it. That's just it. Not everyone made it. Lots of boys died here. Boys taken against their will. It was our destiny. Destiny? Let me tell you about destiny. My dad was a drunk. He'd knock a few back, then beat me and mom bloody. We prayed for his death every night. One day our prayers were almost answered. Dad lost his way coming home from the tavern walked smack into a nest of Neckers. But some witcher saved him. Know what he wanted in return? Give me the first thing you see when you get home. My life. For the life of that prick? I say fuck that kind of destiny. Know what? Let's get out of here. Don't like what you're hearing, huh? Witchers shouldn't talk like that. Know what else you won't like? After the trial of the medallion, I rode straight home to thank my daddy for everything. Want to hear what I did to him? Lambert, please. Thought we were opening up, having an honest talk. But fine, let's continue pretending everything's just peachy. The road beckons, my good man. Our companions await. Need to get our swords. Witcher with no swords like a man without an arm. Sure thing, brother. Which is his sharp back club takes and home goes. Mm-hmm. Don't worry. I don't need convincing. Come on, girl. Right. Let's get back. After you, sir. Oh, got a signal. Shit. Lost the signal. Nothing here. Oh, got a signal. Signal's growing stronger. Can't be far now. So, Yennefer found a volunteer to walk around with that chirping... Mounted witcher ah, just never took are. off. Aha. Uh -huh. Getting warmer. Warmer. Hot. Mounted witchering just never took off. Ah, there you are. Disturbance is coming from there. What's in these crates? Dimeridium bombs. Lambert made them. No wonder the megascope doesn't work. All right, gotta get him out of here. I can do that. Rather you not make a mess of my shelves, just keep an eye on Uma. Yes, Uncle Vesemir. How goes it? Vesemir's not working you too hard, I hope. Uma. 
Thought so. All done. You can go. Now, let's check your condition. Thank you. Seems to be working now. What was it? Dimeridium bombs. Lambert left them by the beds. Hmm. I suppose he had no idea they could interfere with my megascope? No, he probably knew. But that's the sort of prank you only pull on someone you like. You don't suppose he... Lambert? Really? I'm flattered. But no matter. More importantly, I shall fight The Ida? Elvin Sage? What do you want from her? Stay and you'll learn for yourself. Members of the Lodge don't let just anyone in on their secrets, or so I've heard. Consider it a token of our trust. Now let's begin. And Geralt, behave, please. Didn't you just say you trust me? Stop twisting my words. Kidnell Yennefer at Vengerberg. Gwynblade? Kedmil in Severn. Why have you summoned me? We've come up against a curse. One we must lift. It was uttered in a dialect of elder speech unfamiliar to me. I see. The words of the curse? Vafel Elen, Kedmil Foli, Gledev Don Eptenid, Bondro Isme Iacus. Take it you've heard the words before. Yes, in legends, of the kind that do not end happily. Can you help us with the curse? To a degree, Agnes de Glanville's incantation, combined with Elder's Triangle, inverted, of course. They are your only possible recourse, but I cannot guarantee that even they will suffice. Thank you, Ensevern. Vafel. That does not conclude our conversation. What is it? The time of the white frost and white light is nigh. And the world will perish amidst ice. I know Ithleen's prophecy. I don't doubt you know it, but do you understand it? The Elder Blood can initiate the final age, the time of the end, or stop it. Remember this, Gwynblade, for you will be the one to determine if the seed bursts into flames. All in all, interesting conversation. What now? All is ready. We should gather the others and begin. Listen, everyone. All is in place. We may begin. Lambert, prepare the apparatuses. Esco, go. Last I heard, my dear, I give the orders around here, not you. I believe we made an agreement to seek to cure Uma my way. I said we would help you, that's it. I don't know what you want to do with them, you haven't deigned to inform us. But it's not safe, is it? Just as I thought. Which is why I think we should first try another, less invasive method. What's this method? Derives from folk traditions. I've used it many times. In 1211, to lift the curse that held the Swan of Phobos, for instance. I'll take Uma into the mountains. What then? Will you howl at the moon together? A bit of respect. You're not talking to Geralt. 
No, we will not howl at the moon. I'll lay him down on a gravestone. Come midnight, I'll give him tea made of hemlock harvested from... But I don't see that I need to explain this to you. In my opinion. I know your opinion, but I'm not asking anyone's permission. I'm saying what will happen. I'll be back at dawn with Uma or whoever hides inside him. So, got the evening off. What do we do with it? Vesemir mentioned some roof beams in the tower need replacing. Maybe we could see to that. Or, we could have a drink. Sounds a lot better than the beams. Wouldn't mind a shot myself, or two. Nothing I can do. Been outvoted. Let's go. Do as you will. But in a moment. Geralt and I must talk. Ooh, sounds serious. Come on, Lambert. See you in a bit, Geralt. All right, what did I do this time? No, nothing. I just wanted to take you aside, without cluing the others into what we're up to. Mm-hmm. And what are we up to? Sneaking upstairs to make love. Wow. You don't exactly mince words. I'm too old to play the blushing bride. Unless you ask nicely. Shall we go? You can rejoin them afterwards, in an hour. Or two. Or three. I'll hold you to that. Well, well. Lovebirds decided to join us. Enjoy yourselves? You heard the answer to that question, Lambert. Besides, not our business. Uh, Yen, we don't have glasses. You all right drinking from a mug? I'd drink from an old boot tonight. <sighs> Perhaps instead of getting crocked in deep glum, we could do some catching up. Eventful times for me recently. Kings, dragons, conspiracies. And then, I found Yen. Yeah, we're thrilled for you. But why don't you tell us about Uma instead? <sighs> Long story. I was on Ciri's trail. Went to Velen, Skellige, Novigrad, where Dandelion needed saving again. He get caught plowing somebody he shouldn't have been. Right. Speaking of old friends Novigrad and plowing, how's Triss? Chris is managing all right. How are those scars she got at Sodden? Still there? Lambert, not funny. Fine. Conversation turned serious. Let's talk. Yen, what do you plan to do with Uma? I said I'd tell you tomorrow. So tell us now. It's after midnight. I'll subject him to the trial of grasses, but only. You'll fucking what? Uh, sorry. Looking to turn him into a witcher? Of course not. As I was about to say, I'll only apply the first half of the trial, because... Because you want to watch him suffer? Stop interrupting, or I will watch you suffer. To restore Uma's former appearance, we must first... Hmm. How do I explain it? Imagine a lump of clay. In order to shape it, you must first moisten it, or it will crumble. The trial's initial part does just that. It opens the body to change, so to speak. Only then can the mutagens produce a witcher. What 
are the chances Uma will survive? Not great, but we've no choice. Unless Vesemir can do the trick with his hemlock. Might be surprised. Old man knows his stuff. It'll be the first trial in years, decades. I knew you'd be wary. Wary? That's not the problem. Those secrets have been forgotten, and that's how they should stay. I'd be the last to suggest you start producing hordes of witches. You hardly need to. See, till now we had a great excuse not to take in apprentices. Seems we'll need to talk it over. Maybe later. Who's up for another round? Oh, I am. But we're all out of stuff to chew on. Geralt, mind raiding the kitchen? Not at all. Gentlemen, pleasure drinking with you. Lambert, especially. But the hour is late. Don't stay up long. Tomorrow's an important day. <laughs> Didn't listen, did he? They never do. What are you talking about? Sam Avila contract Eskel got a while back. Good story. Finish it in a minute. First, some more fuel. Ooh, now that's a kick in the liver. What is it? The gauntlet. Equal parts spirit and white gull. What's that look about? Yen's gone to bed. Time for some serious drinking. Damn straight. Pour us another. Bottoms up. Speak for yourself. <laughs> but we're in fine. See? Even. See everyone's up and at him. Hmm. Take it you had a productive evening? Yes. We talked about Uma. Till late. So I guess you didn't get a chance to see to the beams in the tower. Uh, no. But we'll, uh, get to that, I promise. Right, Lambert? You can give the boys a rap on the knuckles later. Let's get to work. Vesemir, learn anything? While you were out hunting fork tails and playing with a megascope, I examined Uma. Notice one thing. At moments of, what's the term, uh, relaxed consciousness, he behaves differently. While falling asleep, he'd pause awake for an instant. Something different about his movements, his gaze then, but only for a moment. So I induced a trance, hypnotized him essentially. No effect at first, but as he dropped into deep lethargy, I heard something. A sigh or a moan, and it wasn't Uma's voice. All right. I just don't get how that helps us. Then keep silent. Thank you, Vesemir. And I apologize for what I said earlier. Have the boys told you what we plan to do? Yes. Don't like it one bit, but I suppose I have to trust you. Right. So what now? We can begin. We need only brew the potions. Wait. Why couldn't we... Do it earlier? Because the preparatory potions for the trial are strongly reactive. They must be administered immediately after they're brewed. Satisfied? Geralt, make the potions. Here are the formulae. 
Eskel, take a bottle of spirit. Uh, no. After last night, I... And disinfect the tools. Well, <laughs> chop chop. You don't know who's trapped in Uma's body. How did you figure the proportions? Performed a series of complex calculations. some data plan simulations meaning potions ready tools too good Vesemir hookweed extract to deaden the pain I know done this before Eskel make the incisions in his veins insert the tubes Geralt place the potion vials in the feeders Open the valves. It doesn't matter in which order. The hook we'd work? If it hadn't, the pain would have sent him into shock. Killed him. So, everything's going smoothly? No, but it's within known norms. Administer the next potion. I had hoped... I had hoped I would never have to watch this again. Why'd you keep the table, then? Geralt, next potion. to do their work. Might take a day, might take more. You need only wait. True. But I must maintain the stabilizing spell. Uma's body is not nearly as resilient as a young candidate witch's. Without this, he... Yeah! Eskel, I'm sorry. Would you mind? Getting some rags on it. Floor. No, the trial. With that Siri in there, she could come out of this crippled, wrong in the head, just emotionless. Thought about that? I trust Yen. She knows what she's doing. Don't doubt that. But do we know what she's doing? She tell you how likely this is to work? Gentlemen, the floor's as clean as it'll ever be, and I need to be wiped down as well. No offense, but I'd rather Geralt did it. Understood. I'd prefer that too. Yes. Uma's body is disintegrating from the inside. Once that's complete, we'll need to reform it, or he'll die. You witches were given mutagens. We will use spells. Hey, Yen, you're dozing off. 
No, I'm just resting my eyes. Yeah, it's called sleeping. Then do something to keep me awake. Pinching's apparently effective. Later, perhaps. For now, talk to me. Tell me a story. Ever tell you about the time Dandelion bought me a sword? Was that in Kerak? Just after we... Decided to take a break, yeah. My swords had disappeared, doesn't matter how. And Dandelion insisted I had to be armed. Decided he'd buy me a weapon. Came to me beaming. The truest Verolidum steel. Good price, too. So good it felt like I was stealing. <laughs> Naturally, blade shattered first parry I threw. He's awake. It's time. Time to lift the curse. Prepare the phylactery. Where is it? Everywhere. And nowhere. Listen, Sage. We didn't lift that curse to play riddles with you. Arwen. Arwen. Shram. And Skellige. Follow it into the mists. Hurry. Hurry. I tried to protect her, but the curse, the hunt, has not found the isle as yet. Enough, Geralt. He's not yet free. Is he gonna make it? I can't know. You saw. The trial has wrought havoc in his body. Violently twitching fingers, pupils that don't react to the light. Toxins have permanently damaged his nervous system. I'm going to get pulled up. Don't you think you owe us some answers? How do you know this, Avalon? What's Siri been doing with him? Yennefer can tell you. Just keep an eye on him. He's not a friend. Perhaps not, but Siri apparently trusted him. We should at least take his words seriously. You heard what he said. Take Ciri from that Isle of Mists, and the hunt will pick up her trail immediately. What then? What's your suggestion? Ciri can't flee forever. One day she'll stumble, and she won't get a second chance. Time we the hunted became the hunters. Geralt will find Ciri and bring her here, and the hunt will follow. 
expect to catch us by surprise, and they'll be sorely disappointed. If we plan to fight them, we five, in a crumbling castle. Do we have a choice? Besides delaying the inevitable? Pretty boy could try to round up a few others who know how to swing a sword. Or wield magic. And you? What do you plan to do? I've Avalach to care for. He's certain to die without gentle gradual magic treatment. There's hope if I help him. Not much, but better than naught. The boys and I'll consider how we should greet our uninvited guests. Fine. I'll get Siri and recruit some allies. Bring everyone here. Got a few favors I can call in. Any good-looking women in that batch? Mm-hmm. Exclusively. All right. Time I was on my way. Good luck, Wolf. And give Sir. Come back quickly, Gal. The curse that held Uma proved hard to lift, but Yennefer and the Witchers managed to do it. The ugliest man alive revealed himself to be not man, but elf, and an elven sage of that. Avalach, for this was his name.
found some. Sever his hand. Fuck. Oh, 